Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Katie. Um, today I'm doing a hair tutorial on this look. I've had a ton of people asking me for um, a tutorial for this look on my Instagram or Snapchat. Um, apparently I'm just obsessed with this. Um, it's super fun. I guess this is like the bubble braids. So, hope y'all like it. Um, I apologize for how the colors don't match very well. Um, I've not done my hair in a long time, as y'all can see. So, bear with me on the hideous color over here. But otherwise, I hope you like this tutorial and stay tuned. So you're gonna get started. First thing you're gonna need is what you call braiding hair. You can get this at like a drugstore hair place, but I'll link it below. Um, a brush, a comb, and some clear rubber bands. You wanna part your hair down the center. And then we're going to ponytail one side to keep it out of the way. Real cute. So I'm going to take a piece of my braiding hair. You need like a fourth, maybe even a fifth of what all you have and pull it apart. It gets real annoying. Take that little piece and put it in half. Make sure it's even at the bottom. You're going to take a little chunk at the front and pull it forward. And a little chunk at the back. I like to twist mine to make sure that I don't lose it. And you're gonna put that to the back. So place the very middle of your braiding hair down and then you're gonna take the front piece and the back piece of your hair, smooth it out and then you're going to put a little clear rubber band on it, looking real cute. I like George Washington. Make sure that rubber band is tight and then we're going to take a second section behind it and this time we're going to put our braiding hair in that section. You want to make sure that when you're putting the rubber band in that your hair is super clean and you don't have any like wispies coming in and out. So just um, after every like loop, clean out the back of the hair, like pull it all down. You're going to do the same thing again, taking another section. And we kind of fix everything a little later. So you just want to make sure that your sections are pretty clean. You want to make sure when you're cinching your ponytails tight that you're pulling your real hair and not the braiding hair. So now you're just going to do that same process until you're all the way down to the bottom.
So now that we're at the bottom, you can kind of see the side and back view. You're just gonna um, place little rubber bands all down the ponytail, continuing those little bubble looking things. You can see the uh, nasty yellow hair and then the white braiding hair. So before I get to the bottom, um, like the last two ponytails, I'm gonna wanna fan out these bubble braids starting from the top. And you wanna make sure when you're fanning that you're getting both your hair and the braiding hair. So it kinda blends together. I just try to pull in all the different directions to make that circly looking bubble. And once you've pulled everything at the top, then you can do those last two rubber bands. And that is one bubble braid. It's a little messy, so I'll clean it up at the end. Now we're going to go to the other side. And here is the finished look, your little bubble braids. I put a couple body pins in um, just to like clean up some hairs, but you can't really see them. So yeah, 